Let's get this party started. As you know. All right. You know, I realized that last week, oops, I forgot to put my tension on my bike. So let me get that figured out while you guys get started rolling. Need a little bit of tension to make it work. There you go. All right. So last week I realized that I forgot to give my coach's quote. How is that possible? And as I mentioned to you last week, which was my dad's birthday, today is my mom's birthday. So happy birthday, mom. She got her song this morning. She got all kinds of texts from us. She got, uh, my sister made her a cake and her favorite chili. So she's getting all kinds of treatments on her birthday, which she rightfully deserves. So the happy birthday, mom ride. All right, so I'm gonna read a really good coach's quote as we get started. This is from Steve Kerr, who was an NBA basketball player and also a coach. It's different as a coach because you feel responsible for a lot of people. Even though you don't take a shot, you don't get a rebound, you feel like you just want people to succeed and you want to help them anyway, you can. So that's what I'm here for, to help you in any way I can, get you working out, get you to get a good workout in, and also teach you some stuff along the way. So you know the drill for now. Um, you're gonna have your full water bottle available. You're gonna have a towel, a fan, hopefully. Right now I want you in your small ring, in your easiest gear. And all I want you to do is just spin the legs just to get yourself warmed up. We'll do about a five minute warm up, and then we'll move into what I call the opener to get your legs opened up a little bit more. And then we'll get into the main set, which is gonna be a nice little kind of ladder effort, but also making you think about uh, being responsible for pacing yourself through an effort. So these are really good efforts to do. It's a great way to kind of start at one level and move through that level. Kind of as if what you would do if you're climbing up a hill. If you start too hard at the bottom, you're never gonna make it up that hill. So these are good because it starts to teach you to kind of pace a little bit. If you have power or heart rate, it's gonna come into play for these efforts. If you don't have those metrics, then you can definitely just use your own rate of perceived exertion, which is really what you can manage yourself. So we got one more minute here. All right, so the way this first effort's gonna go, we're gonna do one, two, three, three, four, five, five little efforts. They're gonna go with 15 seconds hard, 45 seconds easy, then 30 seconds hard and 30 seconds easy, then 45 seconds hard, 15 seconds easy, and then we're gonna go back and do the first two again. So what gear? I want you to stay in your small ring I want you to give me about your 18. So that might be about three or four gears harder in your cassette from where you are now. 
And we're going to try to hold that cadence 90 to 100. So I want you to put a little bit of effort into this. That's the purpose of this, to open up the legs, get them ready, and get them going. So go ahead and give me a couple of shifts, probably three or four. Put yourself in your 18 if you know what it is. Give me 15 seconds, nice and hard. Three, two, one, let's go. Really push yourself here. This is where you don't want to cheat because you definitely want to warm the body up. Three, two, shift back up to that easy gear. But I want you keeping the, uh, the cadence at 100. So keep those legs spinning fast. That next one that we're going to do is going to be 30 seconds. Shifting again, not yet. Down to that harder gear. You're going to hold it for 30 and rest for 30. I'll tell you when to shift. Go ahead and find that gear. You're 18, three, two, let's go. Or four, gears harder. Just go for the highest cadence possible. That'll force you to work pretty hard. The legs are burning, we love it. Three, two, easy gear. Keeping the cadence high though. Shifting up. Keep that cadence at 100. A lot shorter recovery. Next one's gonna be 45 seconds. Find that gear. Three, two, let's go. Push it. Forty five seconds. Hold the effort all the way through. Concentrate on your consistency. Fifteen to go. Almost there. Three, two, one. Easy gear. Now you're really going to get a short rest. Only 15. Then back down for 30. Find that gear. Here we go. 30 seconds. Force yourself to warm up. Keeping that cadence high. Three, two, easy gear. Keeping the cadence at a hundred. Last one, it's going to be 15 seconds. If you're not warmed up after this one, you didn't work hard enough. Find that gear. Let's go. 15. Hold it all the way through the last minute. Three, two, back to that easier gear, 100 cadence, finishing out the minute, 
30 to go. Almost there. Five, three, two, one. Bring down your cadence. Just spin it, whatever is easy. Take a drink. Finish this bottle. By the end of the night, that's your biggest goal. All right. So here's how these are going to go. Each one of these is going to be for a time period. That time period is going to kind of be like a build effort. That's how I want you to think of it. So it's going to be a one minute effort with one minute recovery. Then it's going to be a two minute effort. So for that two minute effort, the first minute, you're going to do it at a certain range. The second minute, you're going a little bit harder. So we're going to do one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minute. So the five minute, of course, each minute, you're bringing up the intensity. So the last minute of the five minute is going to be the hardest minute of all of them. So we're going to go up the ladder, down the ladder, and then we should be done. So this one may go relatively fast. So for the first set up to our five minute, we're going to stay in our small ring. The thing that you're going to notice is 90 will kind of be 80, 90 will be your start point. With each intensity, you can make it a harder gear and a higher cadence to increase that intensity. So for the first minute, I'm gonna let you just play around with the first one. Small ring, you pick the gear, 90 cadence, and we're looking for you to be somewhere bottom of zone four, top of zone three, pick your gear, hold that 90, three, two, one, let's go. So don't cheat yourself out of this first one. It's really just another way to get you to start to get a sense of what gear you can hold 90 at, what intensity level you want to play around with. Because obviously, each one of these efforts is going to change as we go along. So this first one should be pretty consistent. In between each, you're only going to get a minute recovery. So right now, three, two, one. Easy gear. I want you to take a drink for every is easy minute. That way, you're going to be guaranteed to finish that bottle. All right, so the next one gets a little harder. First minute, make it like an endurance zone. Second minute, start kind of poking in, prodding into zone four, which may mean a harder gear, a higher cadence, or if you want to keep the cadence the same, then increase the gearing to match the intensity that we're looking for. So it's two minutes. Again, small ring, 
you pick the gear, first minute, right in the middle of an endurance zone, three, two, one, let's go. So you gotta pace yourself here. Find the right place that'll work for you. Because you're gonna use this as we move up this time ladder. Obviously, if you start too hard, you're not gonna have anywhere to go. Which is climbing a hill, a perfect example. If you start from the bottom too hard, you're going to totally die by the top. So pacing, pacing, pacing. When we come up to the minute, decide what you're going to do. Increase your cadence. Increase your gearing. Three, two, one, or increase both. Bring it up just a bit. So if you're at the top of zone three, move into zone four. Settle in. Bend those elbows. Nice flat feet. Nice relaxed shoulders. When we get to two minutes, you get a minute easy. Three, two, one. Take a drink. All right. So now we're moving to three minutes. So what's going to change here? Your first minute might be at the bottom of zone three. Second minute, top of zone three. Third minute, moving into zone four. Because we can be in zone four, the top end of it, and zone five, we may not be able to sustain that effort. Turn on your fan if it's not already on. All right, pick your gear, keep that cadence, effort, three, two, one. So this first minute should feel relatively comfortable. And even if you're going over 90, that's fine. You want to keep it steady. Think about your pacing. Because remember, when we go out to ride, our goal, obviously, is to make it from point A to point B, either that being a loop, an out and back, whatever your course is for that day. Coming up to the first minute being done. Three, two, one, increase your intensity. Moving into the next zone. So if you were at a level six on an RPE scale, I want you to move to level seven, eight. Legs might start to be reacting to, oh yeah, I'm ready to go now. And again, as always, keep it consistent. 
Keep it steady. Nobody's going up and down in their effort level. Three, two, next effort. A little harder. Cadence might increase. Effort might increase. Gearing might increase. Thirty seconds. You're just popping in, Dawn. Go ahead and just get yourself warmed up. We're about to finish this one effort. Three, two, one. Easy gear. Take a drink. All right, three minutes in, moving to four. So it's an intensity ladder. The first minute, manageable. The second minute, a little harder. The third minute, even harder. The last minute, really going for it. So you can change that through cadence, gearing, or a little bit of both, depending on what works best for you. So this is the four minute effort. Find that gearing. Here we go. First minute. Don't bust out of the gate. Control, control, all about control in this first minute. Hold yourself back. Don't push yourself too hard because you want to have something left in that last minute. Find that relaxed pace, relaxed shoulders, relaxed hands. Nobody's death gripping the bars. And remember, you have multiple positions. Three, two, increase the intensity. So either increase your cadence Increase your gearing or increase both. You have three positions on the tops of your bars in your hoods, right on the edge of the curve, or right on the top of your deck. Figure out which position is best for you. Hold it steady. Coming up on two minutes. Three, two, shift or harder effort, higher cadence or whatever you're going to do to make it a little harder. Don't cheat yourself on these. Really go for it. If you're increasing your gearing, 
you're not quite holding that 90, but you're holding the intensity, that's okay. Last minute, coming your way. Keep the intensity high. This should be the hardest minute. Focus on one metric, whatever that is. Almost there. Don't drop out yet. Keep the legs spinning. Till the end, three, two, one. Easy gear. Woo, spin it out, take a drink. All right, we're coming up on the longest one. You only have one five minute effort. So with each minute, this one really needs to be paced out. So the effort level you put into the fourth minute of the previous effort now should go to the fifth minute of this effort. So that means the first one, you might want to make it a little easier. All right, find your gear. Here we go. Three, two, one. One minute. Feel comfortable here. You should be able to talk to me here. You should be able to do this effort without too much leg strain. The legs should just be spinning around. If your heart rate came down in that one minute to a reasonable level, that's fantastic. That's what we want to have happen. That's what the recovery period is for. Coming up on the minute, three, two, one. What are you gonna do? Increase your cadence, increase your gearing, or increase both. You don't wanna move too far, just a little bit. All about pacing today. So if I look at these files, I should see just a gradual build for each one of these, except of course for the minute effort. It's almost gonna look like a step ladder. It'll be this, then up, then up, then up. Next change, gearing or cadence. Whatever you select, make it happen, make it increase, make it feel just a little bit harder. This one I'm going for the higher cadence. 
increasing my cadence with each one. Of course, because I have power, I can truly regulate that. Three minutes down. Next one, four minute, fourth minute, I guess I should say. We only have two minutes to go in this effort. Hold on to it. Pay attention to how your body's reacting. Think about where you're going to go for the last minute. Because here it comes. Three, two, last minute. I'm increasing my wattage, I'm trying to hold the same cadence. Working on holding the cadence at exactly where I want it. So it's not jumping around. Almost there. I know you're feeling it. Five, three, two, woo, one. Nice job. Take a drink. Spin the legs easy. Allow the body to recover. I know it's not a long time. Just enough to get you to recover. Get that water in that you need. And then you're down the backside. So here's the change to the backside. Now you're going to shift to your big ring. You're going to find that gear that works. Obviously your cadence may drop a little. That's okay. But I want you to be in the big ring. Pick the gear that you think will work. First effort is four minutes. Find that big ring. Find the gear. Three, two, one. Be patient here. This gear is going to put a little bit more effort into it. It's going to force the body to work a little harder. And that's why that cadence might be a little lower. That's fine. Then if you have a lower cadence right now, bring the next one with a higher cadence. That'll increase your intensity. Lots of focus required for this one. Three, two, bring it up. Move into the next phase. The next zone, the next heart rate, the next power, the next cadence, whatever you choose. Four minutes will feel like short compared to five.
But of course that gearing makes you work a little harder. Coming up on two. Three, two, bring it up again. I made a shift. It helped me get over that threshold I was at previously. My cadence stayed relatively the same. Come on, stick with it. I know you want to stop pedaling, but don't do it. That's the beauty of these workouts. We're never coasting. All right, one more change. Last minute, make it happen. Increase your intensity. If you're breathing hard, that'll tell you where your intensity level is. Only 30 seconds. Stick with it. Relax, relax. Five, three, two, one, easy gear, down to your small ring, up to an easy gear. Woo! Page number two, it's a two-pager today. Take a drink. You should be down to about a quarter at this point. So I had an athlete that I was talking to and she told me that she rarely goes on, goes to the bathroom on a four or five hour ride. Not good. True indicator that she's not hydrating properly. So know that. It is okay to have to stop and go to the bathroom when you're on a ride. In fact, you should. That's your gauge. We have our own hydration gauge. Just check out the color of your urine. All right, three minutes. Everybody knows the drill. Here we go. Big ring. Find the gear. Let's go. Three minutes is going to feel like nothing. Depending on where you want to start, because it's shorter, you might want to actually start a little harder so that you can move through and get to the same place you were at in the fourth minute of the last effort. Remember, if you need to trim your front derailleur, it's in the front left hand shifter, small shifter, unless you have electronic. And then it'll probably do it itself. Here we go. Minute down, second minute, bring up the intensity.
This is going fast. Told you guys it was going to go fast. After this one, you only have two minutes, three, three minutes of effort left. Now is when those shoulders start to creep up. Don't let it happen. Keeping that cadence strong. Two minutes down. Increase the intensity. Last minute. Really work it here. Give it everything you got. These last couple are the most important. When the body's tired, Ten to go. Don't drop the effort though. Three, two, one. Down to that small ring. Into that easy gear. Continue to take that drink. One minute. Woo! It's heating up. It's getting hot in here. I start playing some music. Unfortunately, if I played music and I didn't have it copyrighted, I could never make the videos. So, I could put other music that's allowed, but. I'm sure you'd rather listen to me jabber on. All right, we're coming up on two. So these last three minutes, make them your best. We have two, then we have a rest, and then we have one. So again, back to that big ring. Find that place, maybe a little heavier or harder to get started since you only have two minutes. The legs might be feeling a little weary. That's okay. That's why we do this, to push the barriers just a tiny bit. So now when you start to get tired, this kind of stuff starts to happen. Make the legs. Do all the work, keep the upper body still. Moving your body doesn't help the legs any. It might feel like it does. Coming up on one, three, two, increase your intensity. Second minute, last minute for this effort. Hold it steady. Tell yourself you're strong. You got this. You're gonna pedal till the end. And these seated efforts definitely help you get stronger. Because when you stand up, you use your whole body. Five, three, two, one. Small ring, 
Easy gear. Spin it out. Take a drink. All right. Coming up to the last one. So it's an all out. But even though it's a minute long, all out doesn't necessarily mean you can hold all out from the beginning since you have all these efforts on your legs already. So I'm going to give you 15 second kind of gauges with each 15 seconds if you want to increase the intensity. And if within that last 10 to 15 seconds, you want to get out of the saddle and really sprint for the finish, you're welcome to do that. So gauge for yourself what will work. And just like the previous ones, we're going to go to our big ring. Go ahead and go there. Find the gear you like. Three. Two, one minute. Let's go. Come on, I know you can hold this a little harder from the start. Fifteen down. Either increase the cadence, increase the gearing, but increase the intensity. 30 down. Keep going for it. Coming up on 45. Last 15. Last 10. Go for it. Three, two, one small ring, easy gear, spin the legs, take a drink. Good job on that one. I'm going to spin out the legs a little bit. We're going to do another drill to spin out as we finish up. Then we'll cool down and you'll be done for the night. Just like I thought. This one went really fast. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to shift from where you are down harder, four gears, actually make it five. All right, with each one of these, I want you to just spin this gear. You might not be spinning it, but if your cadence is like 70, that's fine. Just hold it here. Each minute we're going to move up this ladder. So pay attention to where your cadence is right now. With each shift, we're going to get to an easier gear, which means your cadence is going to be able to get a little higher. Start to feel super light feet. What does that mean? That means, and you heard me say it thousands of times, I want you to not feel the soles of your shoes under your feet. So if you're using the pull-up motion, you'll feel that. One easier gear. So if your cadence was 75, you might get to 85.
But again, this isn't to go hard. This is just to spin the legs out with some light legs. So no pressure in your feet. Your back should be nice and flat. Nobody's rounding their back and nobody's pushing their lower back in. Just a nice flat back. Make one more easier shift and you'll see. So if you were at 85, you might be at 95 now. Keep those legs moving. Keep them light. This is a cool down, not a warm up, not a main set, not an opener. Just enough to feel the heart rate coming down a little bit and letting the legs spin around. If you felt those efforts in your calf muscles and you were doing them correctly. One more shift. Again, increase that cadence. Keep it light. If you have power, you should have seen your power dropping as we move through this. You might have started at one range and now you're probably in more like your recovery range. We only have a couple more minutes left and then we'll be done for the night. So while you're doing this, finish up whatever's left in your bottle. If you've already finished it, good job. One more shift easier. You should only have one shift left. So now is when you really turn it down. I'm sitting literally right in my zone one, but my cadence is high because I'm not putting any pressure on the pedals. Just letting the legs spin. I can feel my body recovering, heart rate coming down, not sweating as much. Not that I sweat a lot and know that about yourself. Start paying attention to your sweat rate because your sweat rate will tell you a lot. If you've hydrated properly, you might not be sweating as much. One last shift. You should be in your small ring, easiest gear right now, and all you're doing is spinning it very easy. Last minute before we call it a night and we get our recovery drink, have something to eat, get a good night's sleep and on to the beginning of the weekend because it's Friday. Even though I think it's Wednesday, which would mean it feels like Thursday to me. And hopefully, fortunately, well, I wish we were out in California where they're going to get snow. <laughs> How crazy is that? All right, three, two, one. Nice job. Good workout. Finish up whatever you have in your bottle. 
and we're calling it a night.